Okay, so we were discussing on the polyunsaturated fatty acid oxidation, right? So an example for an PUFA is linoleic acid, which is having again 18 carbon atoms, right? It is having 18 carbon atoms, C18 fatty acid with two double bonds. Uh, monounsaturated fatty acid now, uh, we have explained it using C16 uh, fatty acid, which is known as palmitoleal CoA, right? So in the video, you uh, will be seeing the monounsaturated fatty acid, uh, acid using palmitoleal CoA as an example. But in the notes, I have explained the monounsaturated fatty acid oxidation with the help of oleic acid, that is C18 monounsaturated fatty acid, okay? So in the notes and in the video, the example used was different, right? So in the video, I am explaining the oxidation of, beta oxidation of monounsaturated fatty acid using a C16 fatty acid named as palmitoleic acid. But in the notes, you cannot see palmitoleic acid. It has been explained using oleic acid. Oleic acid is a C18 fatty acid with a single double bond. Clear. So the uh, uh, the same oleic acid can we can use it for PFO also. In the case of polyunsaturated fatty acid, the oleic acid which is having C18 fatty acid, right, with a single double bond on the ninth position, right. Again on the ninth position, uh, the oleic acid is having the double bond like that of palmitoleic acid. Oleic acid is also having ninth position. Uh, double bond is on the ninth position. See cis conformation. The difference is that. Palmetto oleic acid is C16, oleic acid is the next higher member, right? See, palmetto oleic acid. So, palmitic acid is C16, saturated fatty acid. Palmetto oleic acid is C16, monounsaturated fatty acid. The oleic acid is C18, monounsaturated fatty acid. In the case of PUFA, the PUFA is explained using lino oleic acid. So, linoleic acid is C18 fatty acid, like that of oleic acid, but oleic acid is having only a single double bond, while linoleic acid is having two double bonds, right? So, in the notes, you can see oleic acid and linoleic acid as examples, while in the video, I have explained it using palmitoleic acid and linoleic acid, okay? So, you should be uh, understanding that you should not get confused with oleic acid and palmitoleic acid. Palmitoleic acid is C16 monounsaturated fatty acid, while oleic acid is C18 monounsaturated fatty acid. But the reactions are all the same, and again, the double bond position of the double bond is also the same. The difference lies only in the number of carbon atoms in case of palmitoleic acid and oleic acid. You may uh, study using palmitoleic acid or oleic acid, but the thing is that you should write it correctly okay the steps are all the same in the case of pifa pifa uh, it's a c18 fatty acid like that of oleic acid linoleic acid is see the only the prefix is getting deferred lino oleic acid that is oleic acid is having the same carbon atoms as that of oleic acid oleic acid is having c18 carbon atom but the difference is that in oleic acid is a mifa monounsaturated fatty acid while lino oleic acid is PUFA, polyunsaturated fatty acid, this is having more than one number of double bond. So, oleic acid is a C18 fatty acid with the single double bond in the cis conformation on the ninth position. Linoleic acid is a polyunsaturated fatty acid with 18 carbon atom. That is, it's having two double bond, one on the ninth carbon atom and the other on the twelfth carbon atom. Okay, both are on the cis conformation. So, as usual, the beta oxidation gets initiated. Six carbon atoms are removed in the form of three molecules of acetyl CoA, right? Converting the C18 fatty acid into C12 fatty acid. Now, what happens? Uh, Palmitoleic acid to Sambochipal Tenne, that is the isomerase enzyme comes. The first step is skipped because we are already having a double bond. So, there is no need of introducing a double bond again. So, only we are have carrying out the isomerization reaction. That is, the cis double bond is converted into trans double bond. Clear. So, this is cis delta 2 trans enoyl CoA. Right. We are having a cis here. Now, we are concentrating only on this first. Right. So, if the cis form is converted into the trans form, that is a delta 2 trans enoyl CoA. Again, transitoyl CoA is converted into hydratase enzyme, uh, 3-hydroxy, uh, uh, linoleal CoA. Then, 
uh, again the next round of dehydrogenation that is NAD comes. Uh, the three hydroxy is converted into three keto fatty acid CoA. Okay, then what happens? Thiolytic cleavage happens. So now we are having C12. So the thiolytic reaction happens. What? So that C12 is converted into C10. C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. Clear. Now we are having only a single, even a double bond to Athrail. Uh, what is the position? The 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, fourth position like a So now we are or an additional reaction of another reductase enzyme. Very in the chain is in a double bond in a cis this is form. This is form is converted into trans trans acne number where alterations are carrying out. Namely, double bond in a thing shifting, right? Uh, so what happens is that are the see this is the second carbon atom between the second and the third. If it is second and third and I am going to double bond in Dava. So now I am going to introduce a double bond in between the second and the third carbon atom. Okay, but introduce in again the E and the hydrogen. We are going to get the So acyl CoA dehydrogenase. FAD is converted into FADH2. We are going to get the beta oxidation in first step. So this is happening. Upon the CH double bond, CH da. This is the reaction. CO, CH double bond, CH. We have E double bond. We have to do this. 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 We have to do So, what we are doing? We are now removing this double bond. The double bond is removed. We have to do this. We have to do this. Double bond and coloring in the Namadi, only reduce the Namadi, then the hydrogen incorporate here. So, in the, the enzyme is 2, 4 dienoyl coa reductase, right? 2, 4 the 2, 4 dienoyl coa reductase. So, reductase enzyme cup of a reductive biosynthetic reaction. So, reductive biosynthesis 7 of the canangulum hydrogen are a conspurta is a NADPH. NADPH in the body are synthesizing another which pathway synthesizes NADPH? It is the HMP shunt in the carbohydrates. Okay, so one molecule of NADPH comes and what happens? Two hydrogen atoms are introduced so that E double bond are removing. See, when then I the C in the end of the E double bond here, then the carrying of here. There are two events happening. First event on the E double bond in younger removing by the introduction of a uh, two hydrogen atoms or one molecule of hydrogen. Simultaneously, what is happening? The double bond is shifted from the second and the third carbon atom to the third and the fourth carbon atom. One, two, three. Mm. E. Double bond is shifted. So, two, four, that's the enzyme is known as two, four dienoyl coa reductase. So, for the one, two, the. Double bond is shifted. E C H name E C H name adal in diagram double bond na remove it. E C H name E C H name adal kya kya thamma maati right. Apa even na or hydrogen remove a hydrogen e carbon atom added to. Kya apa C O S C O A C O C H two C H double bond C H C H two. Kya kya na kya. In the now signal, dam ke apne me inda me inda the. 2 in them, 3 in them, and then I print double bond. Then I have to do the acetyl coy formation. Then I am shifting again this double bond back to this position. Right? See, CH double bond, CH. Trans form like a magic. This is the trans 3 enoyl coy. Then I isomerize the trans delta 2 enoyl coy. Clear. So this is the reaction. Delta 2 trans enoyl coy forms. Then I am again hydration. Hydration on the render on the render of dehydrogenation are to Narki, Adrishation, thiolytic cleavage. In either for a normal unsaturated fatty acid. Near the pun Delta to transinoil coa. First step of the marinel, Narcanilianel, Delta to transinoil coa is formed. Upon the Anglican, any doubt in English can see them the what E E cis formula and the trans form like a marker. So this fatty acid is acted upon by acyl coa dehydrogenase so that. The compound is known as 2,4-dienoyl-CoA. 2,4-dienoyl. Because it is a double bond. That is 
second position and fourth position. This is the second carbon atom, this is the fourth carbon atom. So, 2,4-dienyl CoA is formed by acyl coa dehydrogenase enzyme. Now, what happens? This bond is getting shifted. So, the enzyme is a reductase enzyme. So, the reductase enzyme is the E bond in right by the introduction of one molecule of hydrogen and the double bond is transiently shifted. So that trans delta 3 enoyl coa is formed. Delta 3 enoyl coa. Right? Again, the isomerase comes and shifts the double bond back to this position. Delta 2 trans enoyl coa. So when you straight away, 2,4 dienoyl coa, reductase enzyme and isomerase enzyme converts 2,4 dienoyl coa to delta 2 trans enoyl coa. In the ideal, we have two enzymes in the carrier of the 2,4 dienoyl coa reductase utilizing NADPH plus H plus and also isomerase enzyme. Isomerase enzyme in the chain of the trans delta 3 and trans double bond in a delta 2 like shifting. Clear. So that the beta oxidation is continued. And if it is a matter of personal loop, CS3CO, SCOA, then the beta oxidation will be continued. Right? So this is how the beta oxidation of polyunsaturated fatty acids will be taking place. Clear. Right? So, this is how uh, the oxidation happening. So, we have today we have explained two metabolic pathways beta oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids. Unsaturated fatty acids fall into two categories monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Unsaturated fatty acids are the first step in Arachilia because already an unsaturation is there. And then only modify the Clear. Now, isomerase monounsaturated fatty acids in the case of the isomerase enzyme additional light to Clear. So, that render ATP corrosion now. Current first oxidation reaction is not taking place. Yeah. So, uh, an example is palmitolic acid. It's a C16 fatty acid with a single double bond in the cis conformation. Or, or a single or a one double bond on the C9. Now, the ninth, uh, ninth position is the same. Normal beta oxidation is the same. The CR, R carbon is the same. C16 is converted to C10. Now, double bond from the ninth position, but now it is moved to the third position. Clear. Now, delta 3 trans enoyl coa and cis enoyl are the same. Trans like a mati. And then the beta oxidation is continued. And the complete oxidation of fatty acid is happening. Now, example for a polyunsaturated fatty acid is linoleic acid. It's having two double bonds. Right, one on the ninth position and the other on the twelfth position. Now, we one by one night are removing. Now, the ninth position is removing. Palmitolic acid is the same. Moon round is the same. Isomerase enzyme is the same. Isomerase enzyme is the same. That is the same. This 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 the Right? I will only cis formula matter the trans formula. This is trans formula is the cis formula. Clear. This yeah. 24 dienoyl coa is now acted upon by reductase enzyme and isomerase enzyme so that the 24 dienoyl coa is finally converted into trans delta 2 trans enoyl coa. Now it enters back into beta oxidation and the complete oxidation is taking place. Okay? So that with this, the oxidation, all the oxidative pathways of fatty acids are over. If you have all oxidation, acetyl CoA molecules are formed. Now, what is happening to the acetyl CoA molecules? These acetyl CoA molecules now enters into the TCA cycle and the electron transport chain happens and the energy will be liberated. One glucose is complete oxidized in the ATP. One fatty acid oxidized in the ATP. We get 129 ATPs. About three powerful fatty acids. Clear. Well, this is with this the catabolism is over. Now, e acetyl CoA starvation to some uh, the acetyl CoA molecules uh, in oxidized starvation some of them carbohydrates. Ilia up and then fats and uh, destruct type of catabolized acetyl CoA now. Main fasting are combo random tissues in a must item ATP go to on the brain. Then down with the RBC. RBC give under the glucose and you could come at look on RBC give where all. Organelles are milia, so it solely depends on glucose. That's why it's working on the brain. If the brain is not energy, that is one source. Carbohydrates are not enough. There is another source for energy, which is known as ketone bodies. So, what is the ketone bodies? Which is from acetyl coin. 